welcoming you for GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. Now we are going to discuss and deal about operation on real numbers. The topics which we are going to discuss in this video is the definition along with that we will be dealing with the commutative law followed by the associative law, the distributive law and the basic identities involving the square roots. So let's deal with the definition of the operation based on the real numbers. The sum difference and product of two rational numbers is always a rational number. We have some examples for the statement which we have over here. So here is the sum, here is the difference, here is the product and here is the division. So the sum, difference and product of any two rational number is always a rational number. So this is the depiction of the statement. Apart from that, the quotient of a division of one rational number by a non-zero rational number is considered to be a rational number. Other than that, the rational numbers tends to satisfy the closure law under addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Herefore, they also satisfy the commutative law and associative law in terms of addition and multiplication. So these are considered to be the key points which you must have in mind before solving these kinds of problems. Now let's see some examples and we have the question we need to use a number line to order the real numbers. So we have minus 2 and 3 by one side and minus 1 and minus 3 at another side. So this was the first question minus 2 and 3. So we have mentioned the number line which has been asked in order to order the real numbers. Starting from minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, followed by 1, 2, 3 and 4. As per the question, we have indicated minus 2 in the number line, that is minus 2. And 3 over here, we have indicated 3. Because minus 2 is to the left of 3, minus 2 is to the left of 3, it follows the condition that minus 2 is considered to be less than 3 which can be written as minus 2 lesser than 3. So this kind of relationship can also be written as 3 that is greater than minus 2 which can be read as 3 is greater than minus 2. So we have pinpointed and figured out the number line in order to order the real numbers. So we have ordered and mentioned that capital 3 is greater than minus 2. We have the next question where we have minus 1 and minus 3. Let's see the solution. As per the question, we have indicated and plotted minus 3 and minus 1. It's understood that minus 3 is to the left of minus 1. So it follows that minus 3 is definitely less than 1 that is less than minus 1 which can be written as minus 3 lesser than minus 1 we can read it as minus 1 which is greater than minus 3 a vice versa concept so we have plotted and we have ordered the real numbers which is minus 1 greater than minus 3 If we discuss about this one, according to the order of operations rules, we should evaluate this expression by first doing the addition inside the parenthesis. Let us see the examples. The first question which we have over here is 2 into 3 plus 4. Here 3 plus 4 is inside the parenthesis and we got to find the answer for this. If we see the second one, we need to find out the difference of 7 and minus 10. 
And the next one is all about we got to find out the quotient of minus 24 and 1 divided by 3. Let's see the first one. 2. Inside the parenthesis we have 3 plus 4. We can simply solve 3 plus 4 which needs to be added up since we have addition operation. So adding 3 plus 4 is 7. Multiplying 7 into 2 it's 14. So whenever we have these kinds of problems, first we need to solve the term which with the term which is inside the parenthesis as per the notification. So the answer is 14. We'll move on to the difference problem. We have 7. Since we have difference, we have mentioned minus. 7 minus minus 10. Since both are indicating the negative sign, it gets to be added up. Minus into minus, it's plus. So 7 plus 10, it's 7. So this is how we need to do the problems based on difference. Let's move on to the next problem. It's all about in terms of quotient. Minus 24 and 1 divided by 3. The solution is minus 24 the whole divided by 1 divided by 3. Since in the denominator we have fraction, it is going to be converted and it is and it is going to be reciprocated. So 1 by 3, when it gets to be reciprocated, it is minus 24 multiplied by 3. So multiplying 3 with minus 24, the answer is 72. Indicating this minus symbol, we have mentioned minus over here. So the answer is minus 72. Now let's discuss about the laws. So if you see over here, the real numbers tends to satisfy the commutative, associative and distributive laws. These can be stated as, in terms of commutative, the law of addition is as follows that is a plus b equal to b plus a in terms of commutative law of multiplication we have a into b equals to b into a so in terms of commutative we have addition as well as multiplication in the same manner we have associative law followed by addition so the associative law of addition is all about a plus b plus c equals to a plus b plus c. In terms of multiplication, we have a multiplied by b into c equals to a multiplied by b into c. In terms of distributive law, we have a into b plus c that is equals to a into b plus a into c or else we can say a plus b into c equals to a into c plus b into c. Let's see some examples for the commutative law of addition and we'll verify it now. So we have if a equal to 3 and b equal to 2, we got to verify it under the commutative law of addition. The commutative law of addition is that a plus b equals to b plus a. On substituting the value of a and b, we have 3 plus 2 which is equals to 2 plus 3. The value of a and b, 3 plus 2 is 5. 2 plus 3 is 5 again. So commutative law of addition has been verified. So we have a real time example of the commutative law. You can parallelly find the depiction of how the commutative law of addition is deployed. Here we have 3 apples and here we have 2 apples. On combining we will be getting 5 apples. So this is the law which is applicable over here. Let's see the example for commutative law of multiplication. We have a equal to 7 and b equal to 3. Let's verify. 
As per the commutative law of multiplication, we knew that a into b equals to b into a. Substituting the value of a equal to 7 and b equal to 3, we have 7 into 3 which is equals to 3 into 7. That is 7 3s are 21, 3 7 sides 21 again. So the commutative law of multiplication has been verified. And we have a real time example where we have So you can understand how the logic is applied. Now let's see and verify the associative law of addition. So the associative law of addition is a plus b plus c equal to a plus b plus c. We have the values a equal to 6, b equal to 3 and c equal to 4. Substituting a for 6, b for 3 and c for 4. In the same way, we are substituting on both the sides. 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 4. 6 again, 3 plus 4 is 7. 9 plus 4 is 13. 6 plus 7 is 13. Hence, the associative law of addition has been verified. So, you can find the depiction of 6 plus 3 plus 4 and 6 plus 3 plus 4. Now let's verify the associative law of multiplication. This is nothing but a into b into c which is equals to a into b into c. Substituting the value of a equal to 2, b equal to 4 and c equal to 3, we have a as 2, b into c as 4 into 3 and a into b that is 2 into 4 into c that is 3. So 2 multiplied by 4 into 3 as 12, 2 4s are 8, multiplication symbol and the 3 again. On multiplying 2 into 12 it's 24. By this side we will be having 8 into 3 that is 24. Hence the associative law of multiplication has been verified. So we can parallelly find the depiction of the associative law of multiplication with a real time abstract example. Now let's verify the distributive law. So the law says follows a into b plus c which is equals to a into b plus a into c or else we can consider a plus b into c equals to a into c plus b into c. We will just consider the first one that is a into b plus c which is equals to b a into b plus a into c. We have the values a equal to 3, b equal to 2 and c equal to 5. Substituting a as 3, b plus c that is 2 plus 5, a into b that is 3 into 2 plus a into c that is 3 into 5. 3 into 2 plus 5 equals to 7 which is equals to 3 into 6 that is 3 2 are 6. 3 into 5 so 3 5 are 15. 7 3 are 21. 6 plus 15 is 21. Hence the distributive law of multiplication has been verified. If you see about the real numbers, real numbers can be represented on the number line. You can find how the number line is all about. You can parallelly see it. In terms of number line, we must have this point in mind that the square root of any positive real number tends to exist and that can also be represented on the number line. If you see about the rational number, the sum or difference of a rational number and an irrational number is considered to be an irrational number. So these are the points which will help you to solve out the problems. Hope you got an idea of how to solve the problems based on operation of real numbers. Hope you had fun watching this video. Thank you.
from GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited.